Hello, this is Makiko from Lakey Lab. I have a co-host today, Zach Kalu. Um, we're gonna go to um, the guided meditation um, about basically turning into new potential. Before we go into, we just kind of chat about uh, our experience about this particular meditation as well as um, basically things in general, what we want. Um, so enjoy. Going back to um, the um, topic of this want, what do we really want? And you're hitting a very good spot where the freedom, really, what do we really want? Or well, one of the things we really want is freedom. I know you have something to say. So. Oh, yeah, that just tied in where we were talking about it a minute ago that when that question arises in me, I'll think of something, but then it attaches to something else, attaches to something else, and then I'm on the macro of, well, I want it, I want everything. And then in this introduction of this uh, meditation, he talks about freedom, and I, I ran into this too, uh, Andy Shaw on Bug Free Mind touches on this bunch. But it's, it's what we want is freedom, freedom to do whatever we want, whenever we want, wherever we want, however we want, as often as we want. I mean, that's really what we want, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Right? You know, In terms of so, freedom, yes. Yeah. No limitations, no um, restrictions, you know, no, um, uh, what's the other word I'm trying to think of, but, you know, nothing telling us you can't, nothing in the way nothing preventing experience the total freedom that's that's what we all want really i think that i know that's what i want that really resonates deeply in me what do i want i want to do whatever i want whenever i want wherever i want however i want as often as i want and it is right? with whoever and whatever yeah and, yeah so Here's the thing, so, um, I understand why people want to have money because that will get to you at a certain level and then quickly realize that's not enough. But it gets to the certain level, right? Because they give you option, physical option. Now. Yeah, well, the money, the money in our world, we need, quote unquote, money to do many things right to do almost everything give us more option or seem to be more option that does not necessarily give all the things we need because they can you know money can buy health for example or love mm -hmm. right if that's something that you're seeking for but it's it is it's one of the illusion that uh, seem to be uh, expand at least now, mm -hmm. my other things is that with that, I want to add that freedom. Yes, that is true. The option to do anything, anytime, how many times, but without guilt, shame, and blame. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, that's right. And that is uh, the. That's a tough one to break the, free. The sacred moral code of do no harm is in that. The common that is, moral code of do no that, harm is involved in that. Right? But that's also connect to the layer of knowingness. Like, how do you know you're not hurting any sentient? Mm -hmm. If everything is a sentient being, including a furniture you're sitting on now. Mm -hmm. So how could... Well, I guess you hold that intention. That's your divine intention for all thought and action that's like the foundation is do no harm so hold that hold that intention yeah would be my answer to that how 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 we can consistently apply that in each moment right and including dream time and and when like andrew mm -hmm. said the reality is screaming at you that is the test testament like um i could tell you like 
you know, like somebody, he, like, uh, you know, parents is very good, or kids, like pushing your hot button because they know exactly seem to be where. <laughs> and at that moment, whether you could respond and uh, react or some, some uh, media showing you this horrifying scene and how I going to react in seeing that and and not manifesting in my dream. Um, so that's that that is kind of a, I don't know spiritual muscle testing. Mm -hmm. So I think that quite often, what do you really want? And and then immediately once you settle with one things, my next thing is so how do you do that? And that's something I had to stop. This is not how, it's mm -hmm. really what, and then not even what. It's uh, oftentimes we we seek the state, the feeling and experience, state of being, that type of feeling that we want to have as long as we want and whenever we want mm -hmm. and whoever you want to share that with at your way, <laughs> right. in your way. So, and you know, I have I have thoughts too of like instant manifestation manifestation or mm -hmm. materialization. Instant, mm -hmm. I think of it, and this should be there. I want to go to Lima, Peru mm -hmm. today. Well, then I, boom, it should happen. You know, yes. And if I can think of that, then that is a possibility. So, you, know? you may want to dig deeper and then know why. Right? What type of feeling, emotion, trigger? Let's say you are there now. You're like, you just land it on the sand, whatever you have that image of that place. Mm -hmm. What are you, what are you getting right now? Is it childhood memory or what are you doing there? <laughs> to connect with the earth. Okay. And her and her sentience and for the experience in this lifetime, in this now moment, in this body of being there, experiencing that culture and and the tying and then communicating, communing with the earth and helping heal so by that, sending love and blessings. So that tells me all the things you just said, you are not fully experienced where you are now, or where mm -hmm. you want to kind of want to get out and just experience the completely different place. And mm -hmm. right, so that I know what you mean. That so I'm like where I am right now is a level of dissatisfaction, maybe or something, right? And I, I think about that too, you know, where I live now is, um, it has a lot of indigenous people's history, mm. there are a lot of quote unquote Indians around here. Mm. So there, there probably is a lot for me here. And I, I am aware of that and I hold that, I hold space for that. Um, but there is, there's a, there's the longing that I want to, um, see everywhere yeah on, on earth i want to see all of it yeah that is yeah. this year for me i'm going i'm doing it <laughs> yeah i see that that's awesome yeah you know i decided i want to think how and i just going to follow my heart and keep asking why i want to get i want to go to this place um and just kind of listen to my spirit and just don't put the limit without having you know those shame blame and guilt because it's easy i notice as soon as i try to do those trip plan immediately think how are you going to pay for this how do you justify leaving at home my responsibilities and um, all the things, the miscellaneous things. And then 
the phone call from like you know debt collector you know what do i even owe anything <laughs> so what is this you know and all the interest mail over the bills and then i was thinking no 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 <laughs> this is exactly the you know the the realm that i don't want to live any longer um mm -hmm. and then just shift but they ha i noticed yeah, at this certain time i had to shift this it, this reality pull me back very quickly and very surely. It's so powerful, very addictive to stay in that um, state. And I just have to come back to this um, feeling that, the, you know, after this meditation, you just, you are like a part of a universe. You are in, in a parts of it and it's nothing uh, hold you to the one thing even even a matter so more it's true more we could stay in this moment every time we interact with whatever you call it the 3d or dense energy more you bring the potential that you never imagined before and it's so true i truly believe it's true that's why it's important to manage thought. He emphasized, just be a thought. Don't even be the matter of energy, just thought. And then I share this with you, my friend, Zakaru, <laughs> because I don't know when I could share with everybody else. The one of them, my most respected spiritual teacher, Ama Talk, taught me where we all came from and I don't think anybody could describe it elegantly like this. He said, you are all came from the source, the peace of source, the vibrate eternally. You are always that, no matter how many times we incarnate or go into the different body, we are always, 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 always the peace of original source and vibrate forever, eternally. And the body we have, the first mass or incarnation of so-called mass with energy came from thought. The everything started from thought. This is how important, how you we think so think about it that we this body came from the thought everything came from the thought would you would you include um visualization as thought well initial very beginning was thought and then everything else comes so imagination visualization visualization sound light come after thought is a very very beginning and that's i think this meditation led to just be a thought before images before before anything before anything so more thought form we have less energy into the each thought form i don't notice the stronger we attach to one or a few thoughts or thought forms it's quicker and in a much stronger outcome expressed this is why the kids is so easy to manifest like a hummingbird or dragonfly you know, because usually that's all they think of a whole day. You know, dragonfly, dragonfly, dragonfly. I want to have just dragonfly with orange hair or something, the craziest things, you know. And it comes, it becomes because so strong and so pure and, um, you know, elevated emotion that's what he explained. It happens, seem to be so easy for kids and it's no difference for us. It's just in my case, I have so many thought forms. 
even I'm doing one thing now, I'm probably thinking several dozen other things. Right. So that is a huge distraction and also the block. Mm -hmm. That is probably a part of the most difficult thing. It's not so much of not knowingness or anything, just to stay on one or a few thought of, you know, hanging on to and giving the energy to the thought form so they could, you know, grow and mature and it could go out in the universe and broadcast, hey, you know, this is a Zakaru. This is what I want, you know? Mm -hmm. And say, oh, see it. The universe will respond to that once they see that. Yeah, well, you know, that's just more um, proof or evidence to me of how underlying control the system is. You know, through materialism, mm -hmm. consumerism, you know, paying a mortgage, paying mm -hmm. to live, paying to eat. Yes. All these things. And then uh, then the other side of the, like with the advertising, I'm not beautiful unless I have this dress or wear this makeup or drive this car, right? Or, or don't live. look like this, right? Because yeah. they put it up this impossible figure that nobody would have <laughs> somehow they create it and so, it look, but, if, if you're not this you're not you're not you are nothing basically right and so it, it's used to distract us from our um, focus as you were just talking about you know all the things surrounding us of this society and what is dubbed everyday life <laughs> distracts yeah. from no, focusing true. on our, our true desire, yes. our true true fulfillment and stuff like that. We're so busy and thinking, it's not even busy, just thinking of, okay, let's, how are we going to pay this, for example, right? And then, uh, um, or something like, well, to be healthy, I have to have the money because they, all the organic food is more expensive or something like that. And then you begin to influence by all the other crap and then, um, or, or, you know, it is bombarded. It is just right. so many activity to just live up to with to this society. Um, it's insane. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all multifaceted too. Say like organic food. Well, I want to grow my food, but now I need the land to do it. Yeah, right? it's endless. I need, a, I need a place to do it. Well, how, how do I get the land? You know, so it's just, it's so multifaceted and multi-layered the control yeah to yeah keep us from freedom of thought even freedom yeah. of expression freedom of materialization of yeah what would really make us happy well look why they provide a smooth beautiful road for free <laughs> so we could get to work <laughs> 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 you know that all the things are free and you know provided easily are that all the basically the traps in a sense right. and then mm -hmm. all the things they tell you to maintain like a beautiful green grass it, it's just constant battle of taking off the weeds the so-called weeds who said the weeds is bad right. like pack with the nutrients and then actually those are herbs that you know cure a lot of things and right, and de dandelions are elemental for bees, for yeah. example, and our, our nutritional food and stuff. You know, dandelion, dandelion leaf is a clean cleanser for the liver, and it's actually a very powerful detoxifier. Now yeah. I can't even read it because I don't know my neighbor what my neighbor used for the pesticides. <laughs> they have a beautiful green grass. I mean, they got to be doing something nasty to me. Yeah, exactly, it. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I did organic garden last year, but I am paranoid begin to because I can't use my land because to clay it's very poor. And then a uh, bird comes all over the place and pooping over and, and groundhog and, and, and rabbits and everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what those creatures eating, right? <laughs> and then I had to use this uh, water, you, you know, enriched with the fluoride. Right. <laughs> And then I tried to collect the rainwater, and then somebody tell, "Oh, my God, that rainwater is the fancy, you know. It's just you can't use those things." And 
I have to draw the line at some point, you know, mm -hmm. otherwise I will never be able to start organic garden. Mm -hmm. Then realize I don't like those gardening. I'm not good at it. I'm really, really, you know, I could only grow like herbs. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like sage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cactus. <laughs> well, groundhog enjoy a lot of my plants. <laughs> <laughs> he was so cute, just groundhog. Yes, you should see him because he, he he's like upright. It's you know he doesn't work like like this. He mm -hmm. he hop, he stand up to hop, to the <laughs> one to the next, and he doesn't eat the whole thing. He just sniff, and you enjoy it. Maybe eat this or maybe not, and eat the bites and go to the next and do like enjoying <laughs> my garden. I was like, my goodness, thank you. Um, <laughs> But um, <laughs> I decided I will buy the fresh fruits from, you know, those local, local, individual, individually owned place. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to grow myself um, and I'm going to do something else. <laughs> Realize my, you know, strengths here. Um, mm -hmm. But going back to freedom, that this is a big subject in you know as a human as a collective mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know we say we want it so bad it is just not necessarily realize it's a work first you need to claim the sovereignty and then you have mm -hmm. to fight for it not mm -hmm. not in this physical sense you have to keep asking what do you mean to be sovereign because without that we are not going to have a freedom. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why. Well, that's it. You know, so many people. Um, the easiest people to control and enslave are those that think they're free, and they don't even realize that it's the slave job that they're in, and it's the mind control advertising that keeps them in shame, blame, and guilt, guilt through materialism and consumerism, and um, the, right. whole, the whole trap that it's all a trap, like you say that all roads lead to rome you're talking about the streets well that's true you know they're they're the trap yeah you know and then uh, not taking a responsibility that's a mm -hmm. huge one mm -hmm. you know there's the insurance industry there's a pension plan healthcare plan because people don't want to pay it you know um including i felt the same way but at one point we all have to say hey I caused this. I created this reality. Nobody else, even the government, the military, didn't make me have this reality. I caused this to myself. Now I'm the one be able to change and create a different reality. And until we fully responsible for the cause, you know, in effect, we won't be totally free including you know this dna skin suits or parents um any kind of mishap or relationship that orchestrating around me i could i have to say i caused this this is the best i could at this moment and this is the best outcome and expression i've been seeing all around me whether i'm gonna blame whatever or take that as a gratitude and lesson I think that's how we separate ourselves from, you know, those who are, I guess, in a slave. Could be myself, right? You know, see me still in um, jail or the standing on the top of the hill or mountain and claiming the victory. You know, it's it's really the first step is to, I feel that you have to take. We, I have to. Take this. I it's I am the one that caused all this, and that's how it starts. And then, how are you gonna look at it, and how I going to paint my very next moment? It's it's not easy. Mm -mm. Well, it's not easy. I think because we the the mutant matrix, mm. as, as the template describes it, you know, which is very true. It's um, it's co-created though by everybody mm. you know because we're all tapped in 
to this belief system through the, if you want to consider genetic manipulation and all that kind of stuff, but whatever it is, here we are right now and the masses are, are plugged into these belief systems that create through the electric thought and the magnetic emotions that go back and forth, electromagnetic attraction creates the mutant matrix of duality, fear, you know, hate, shame, blame, bill, all this stuff. Yeah. And so to unplug from that, you know, we can change our personal reality, but you know, it's difficult because it's all empowered. The mutant matrix is co-created by all of us. Yeah. And so to separate from that, um, like you say, it takes responsibility and uh, a keen desire to be free, to, to have true freedom. Yes. And then we have to keep, it's all started with a question though. You know, in that, in that video, they say you can't have a solution within a mutant matrix. We just have a better problem. That's right. right. Yeah, right. You can't find the solution from the same place that created the problem, that creates the problem. Right. So I do believe it. That's why yes. we all have desire to just unplug completely just to get away from everything. Um, exactly. That's my desire, Betty. Next desire. I just, I can't do this anymore. Right. I just can't. I keep looking at the sky and I see like 50 chem chemtrail in within a 10 minutes. Right. And then next hour too, next hour, next hour, every time I see, I point it at natural weather pattern and just try to get it into this part of mind, you know. <laughs> or I just imagine just next sets of a chemtrail I see is that the exact one to erase the one that happened before. Because as always, it's too depressing. And then, uh, I see those fogs covered, like those, you know, like a, um, when the sunset become all pink because of those CO2 or whatever, the gas, the matter, make the whole sky its unnatural color. It actually ironic because it looks beautiful. It's, you know, kind of magic. But that's, this is because of the gas, unnatural gas in the air. That is a sign of um unnatural things in it <laughs> the, the rainbow type stuff it's like a haze of the pink yeah i see that now and then i see like rainbow colors flashing by and stuff yeah I don't know where that might come from but here's a great quote i just i said this is from the template and it's talking about um with the sun consciousness that our challenge is now to translate and embody the source code embedded in light and to collectively generate an, a manifest reality established on the frequency of love mm -hmm. a paradigm that reflects the true tantra of creation rather than the mutant matrix that generates this dualistic fear-based reality that really I, captures that's it, yeah. that's so sweet you're so good with uh, taking those quotes that's you know that's excellent so the people have uh, be able to get a glimpse of it from your quote you know mm -hmm. so it's important and then i do i do really believe the energy the um, vibration of love mm -hmm. is perhaps closest to understand what is eternal? That mm -hmm. is a vibration that goes beyond and almost forever. Like if the wave of the ocean, if they never hit the sand, it will go forever. And that's really to me is the metaphor of the love without a, just love, pure love, you know, without anything. Yeah, and, and love true um unconditional love or you know all forms of love mm. but love without strings attached you know that really is so connected to this topic of freedom that we were just talking about 
Mm. Somehow to me, I just, I see that as being intertwined. Yeah. You know, one begets the other, begets the other. I know, so but in a way, freedom. we are that, you know, it's just, we are, what, yeah. we are the expression and a manifestation of that. It's just we disconnect it. Like we right. are the only one in a sense. Look around like a tree and um, bee and um, all that. Even an animal, if we as an animal, they maintain their ecosystem within their, you know, micro system. And we are the only one that cannot stay in that cycle of give and take, give and receive. So that's unbelievable. We lasted this long, <laughs> mm -hmm. but um, yeah. So you know, so back to this meditation and stuff. That the freedom is what I want. Like we said, the freedom to do whenever, wherever, whatever, however much in the mantra and moral code of do no harm, but actually. For me, when I think about being able to do all that, then I'm able to help and I'm able to heal others and the earth and all sentient life. I'm able to shine brighter by having no limitations on experience. Yeah. Well, I think it's important. That means you, you just said it because you love enough. You love yourself enough, so you are willing to take this, and that I think that's the that's all it takes for the entire humanity to heal. That is why we many people abuse their body, push their limit, you know, exercise too much or cigarette, alcohol, or eat too much or eat eat too little. You know, it's all the abusive. It's abusing the physicality because they don't, it's amazing because it's opposite because they don't respect this physical body because somehow, you know, something gonna take care of them or um, mind is more, mind is everything. Unseen world is everything. It's actually, we, we need this body, you know, beautiful body to be a perfect instrument to commune with planets, Earth, and Sun. And then we, if we don't have enough love to ourselves, like you said, we can't heal or be even in a harmony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because yeah, I think we, all, all those things are right that you mentioned, like bulimia or whatever, and uh, they are showing it's, it's ourselves knowing on a very deep level that something's missing something is askew mm. in this um reality or what the template calls a mutant matrix that it, it's a sign that knows there's something more i'm missing something i'm longing for something yeah. and then that comes back around like you said being and just love love yourself and through love, we can find that freedom. Through love, we find the harmony and the peace, which is satisfaction, too. You know, satisfaction ultimately is peace. Yeah. It's congruency to me. The best thing could have happened being one with earth and sun. And if I could have that feeling and state, at yeah. almost every moment right. that perhaps the ultimate freedom and love. So I know I don't need to go anywhere. I don't need to be loved by someone or I need, I don't need to find a special anything or have some special castle or <laughs> special sacred place, right? Because it's all in us just to connect I think that um, that's probably what I get to eventually. You know, we have everything we need right here, right now, and we'll be able to be manifest anything, anytime, how many times we wish, and that's who we are. 
Um, so that's coming back. And more time we realize we are the divine temple and we are the divine creature and being. And like you said, we are all connected through love. And it's not much, any, not much more thing we need. We right. really don't. We don't. So nobody need to work this hard. Actually, mm -hmm. there's enough food. There's enough for everything. Enough land. Enough space. There should be any poverty in this country. It's excess, excess, excess of absolute abundance and bliss. Right. And somehow, in this mutant place, we are still under the influence of fear base. You know. Oh, we don't have lack. a lack. Yeah, that's that's all up here. Still, <laughs> though, I think I love to be surrounded by environment. Right. That I don't need to do to go into the deep meditative state to realize every <laughs> you know every right. place I look, it's abundance, it's at every level in the people, land emotionally, mentally, feeling body, at every physically, it's just a blissful abundance everywhere. Mm -hmm. And in, and I think that's what I want. Right. I think that's why I keep seeking, you know, not don't need to manifest in the mind, it should manifest in 3D too, or 2D or 1D, I don't care what D. <laughs> so how, how do you see it though? Let's, let's just say there, and then we'll get to the meditation. You know, people, myself, right. when we talk about manifesting, you know, because of the way society is set up with the use of dollars, mm -hmm. money, right? Yeah. Money's needed. Everything has a price on it. Everything's for sale, pretty much. Um, Not so everything. When, when, well, yeah, we, we've talked about that, but, you know, but in material world, you want to eat, you want to have yeah. a shelter, you want to have clean water, these things. Well, money, uh, money right money. now is a, is energy. Right. So, biggest... so that's, that's, before you go on those, that's what was my question for you. So, you know, people, when we, they hear law of attraction, they hear um, manifest. Well, look, we want to manifest dollars. Right, we want to manifest money. So, for you, how do you correlate that into the fabric of manifesting in general? How does money fit think, into that? You know, I think I'm manifesting already. So, so the reason is I don't manifest money because my, manifesting money is bad because I did that before and then it happened to me. And look what happened to me. So what's going to happen is if you try to manifest the money, your energy is all there to generate money. So you eco exchange because money is energy. I spend all my energy, much of my energy to manifesting money. So when I get money, it's basically the same. I spend my energy to this money. <laughs> You know, I don't have energy to spend this money energy to, so I have to do it. It's, it's the extra step for me. So I decided, skip the money, and then I get what I need. Because it takes same effort. I just want to get to the, the outcome first, so I'm going to skip the money this time. But, but to get to an outcome, say, to buy a, a plane ticket or you know, to move to yeah, so I, Costa I thought, Rica or something, and that's going to take dollars. So oh, you know, focusing on getting there or having that happen, the money comes? Not necessarily. I'm shocked myself because I was telling every single person, so I met, how excited I am to go to Asheville in this tiny house. And then uh, it was funny because a woman said, I wanted to do that too. I want to go with you. And I, I, I have an extra ticket. You know, do you want to come with me? And I said, um, I could have said yes, but she wanted to come right back. I said, no, I want to stay, so I'm not going to take it. But there is an opportunity like that because you, don't need, you just need uh, the tickets. You, you, you don't need the money to go to the ticket. You want to go there, right? 
it's different. Mm -hmm. So they are always the people who wants to, who seeking someone to travel together, or or company. So and just, just uh, give just, it to you. Like, oh, this woman told me, well, um, I'm a stewardess. I could go anywhere, you know, but I, I I need to come back with the same time. So she had um, um, she could take one person with her, wherever she wants to go. And she said, oh yeah, I'm gonna go with you. And I agree, you, but she she said I had to come back, yeah. you know, two so, so nights. So is leave it <laughs> to synchronicity. If you really excited create with the other people, because it's got to come through other people, right? Yeah, but you are attracting those people by being just excited about it. And then mm -hmm. I have another thing. I, I said, I can't stay here in the winter. I just can't. I really can't. I'm not going to. That, that could, I'm not going to stay here in the winter time, a whole, whole winter. I'm going to die. And then I said, I'm going to the unbelievable island, and I'm going to have a retreat, beautiful retreat. I don't know how to do it, but I know that's what I want to do. And I keep talking. Well, not really keep talking. Yeah, and then I just um, I have a I just met my friend today this morning, and then uh, this is the second time we talk about. It, and I told her, told her, I don't care, Chris. It, it's it's hard. Even this just gonna pan out or not? I'm going to this place. And then she said, Okay, I'm gonna talk to him today because you know he said um, she said that there's a three um, bungalow, and then it, you know you could just stay there, and then you know you could just spend. The time or we could do retreat and i said no we're gonna do the retreat. we're gonna do this together or more people because i told her that i can't stay here and i'm gonna do this and then like she said okay fine let's do it and i don't know if you're gonna manifest or not but i'm going to nicaragua <laughs> yeah. i told you before right so i met again and then uh, there are so many people has so much money and i was to the place the sickening that is this country with a field with excess money. And they are not, those people are not um, worrying about um, money. It's just the money goes there. You know, this is the money is lonely because they go to the places they have more money. So I don't need the money. I You just need a connection. You just need to connect to the right people who just waiting, dying to have you there because so, it's a law of attraction and, and I, I told her, hey, what I need, it's not because my goal is not to satisfy my need. Because my need was satisfied the first three minutes get there. I feel, my God, it's wonderful. You know what next things I'm going to desire? I want to spend this moment with special someone. And the more is better. Then I look around. Well, I don't have my family. And I don't have any friends who spiritually share this. Oh, this is really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so right there, I know. I won't be satisfied. I said I want to go all those places, but I know every time I do this, next things I see, where's my special someone to share this experience with? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, now I ask her, "Hey, Chris, going somewhere and have a very special retreat is one thing, but what I really want is for the many people to come here and share this experience, and then more and more people come day after day after day." It's a business model where it's a continuous enjoyment, enjoyment of this very moment and sharing more people. So what I'm looking for from those rich people to not to buy into my idea or I want to learn from them because they know how to attract people, how to make the mass move toward their likingness. That's what they know. That's what I want to know from them not buying to my idea or my needs because nobody will care. I care about what they know, how they attract money and people. Because once we know it and are going to apply to this business, it's a business model, good business model, then it would just naturally happen and it could go anywhere to do the, the same thing, you know? And that's what I want. It's, it's really more and more I think about it. It is so much more, make you so much more happy, focus on mass and, and it really hires goods. And that will give maximum happiness and joy. The key is how to have that blissful moment again and again and again.
it's all come down to how you think and how you could process it and systemize it in a most joyful way that you can't wait to start. Because even though you, is, you have it, if you're not truly want to do it, it become, no matter how successful you are, it will be constant state of depression and lack. I know so many of those billionaire, not millionaire, the billionaire seeking a special someone and just they're not, they look, it looks like they have everything, but I don't want to spend time with them because they look very insecure or they look very needy. I don't want to spend time, you know, in a yeah, expensive restaurant and what, 500 the bottle of wine and open. It's nice, but it passes in three seconds. <laughs> Right. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's come and go. And it's it's sad. It makes you feel even sadder doing that. So well, that, that kind of makes me think, you know, as you've been talking. And so, you know, if people may listen to this or whatever, and I'm just trying to relate it back to, you know, this law of attraction manifesting thing. <clears throat> For me, and I think it's probably common, many people, when we start to endeavor in this it's always i need the money i want money i want to manifest money you know and so in here you're talking that you know to just want the money too is to say that without money i can't experience and that's what you mentioned earlier so we've automatically by approaching it with that feeling we've already limited and we've already probably blocked the money coming because we don't have the experience uh, um, as a feeling of, that we have right now because without the money we can't have the experience so well that's we've got, to, we've got to change that yes. change that outlook and that visualization and that thought process of this law of attractions type stuff that the money is just um there it'll just be there don't make it the thing that we have to have to experience you know because then we've already blocked the experience we've got to hold the experience we've got to hold what the money can buy if you will that's what we're holding close that's what we're visualizing that's what we're seeing that's what we're feeling that's what we're thinking and then you know the money will just it will just be there there's money everywhere and yeah. so the thought the thought of oh i need money well right there means i don't have money which means i don't have the ability to have this experience you know so it's just that everything's kind of out of order there yeah well you, you gotta you gotta get the what do you want and don't go around it like um but that's the, that's the educational system teachers though right mm -hmm. So right. that that is a it's a tough one. Like um, what I was like for most of women, including me before, you know, everybody wants to stay skinny or be skinny, and and then without thinking about why, because the, keep if you keep asking, they're gonna say, well, because I want to be happy, you know, <laughs> because I want to get respect, I want more attention, right? And that's that's not. It's two different things. Losing physical mass and being good about my, you know, the body yourself. It's not doesn't necessarily correlate. It almost all almost always it go opposite way. But so it's the same thing when you say, "Well, I need the money because I want to experience the feeling of freedom in this island." It's not the money you want. It's freedom again, freedom again you want. Mm -hmm. And then the experience that you may feel in this particular mystical place. If you keep going through that, what you really want to have is a mystical experience, mystical mm -hmm. magic. And right, then, and so and as it comes to other people, you know, I, I've always thought, well, I'm just going to have like, um, a, you know, a million dollars show up somehow magically, you know, which can happen, I guess. But it, yeah. But ultimately, I think most likely these all happen through other people, through interaction with other people. And so, right, focusing on 
what uh, it is you want to experience, then that will allow for the synchronicities with the other people that can assist in that coming about. Also, you got to catch yourself often. They are some kind of underlying motive too. Like for example, you know, uh, people like including me, I want to, I like sports car. I want to have a sports car so bad. And then uh, sometimes because you want to cut the traffic. <laughs> I just want to do this high speed things to make me feel better. And you got to keep searching and why I want to do that because it feels suppressed by others, right? Or like money because I could say, hey, I'm better than you to the maybe people who uh, teased me when I was little or something. I'm just making up. It's just, um, you know, just yeah. try to. But that's OK. Yeah, exactly. It's OK. But recognizing it and healing that self itself will um, avoid the next perhaps those disaster going to the lottery. And it, yes, actually, you could win those lottery tickets. What happened to most people end up with some um, trailer home because entire family and friend come after. And some of them, you know, did you hear those story? Some that your brother or your brother-in-law tried to come and kill you because you <laughs> refused to give them some, what, 50,000? Big deal, right? Because you got, what, 3 million? And um, before you know it, you have no money and go into jail and you live in a trailer home. It's much worse than before you didn't have these lottery tickets. Um, so you got to kind of think some people has to hide, right? You know, um, hit the road, disappear from the country because they know what's going to happen to them once they get family and friends know you got a, a lottery. So you got to look at what kind of a family and friends you have, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's why most often those rich people don't associate with poor people because it's not because they look down on you because they, you know what's going to have. If they have a hardship, they're going to come after their money. And so, so they can trust you. Do they like me because me? Well, they like me because I have a money. And then um, they acutely know that. So what do you want to do with those feelings? Don't do it. Just go to the people who have lots of money and also the confidence. And those are the kind of people they want to hang around. So that's what becomes the circle. Um, yeah, so, so, so another good way. So I think, you know, people instead of focusing on manifesting money, you know, focus on what you want that money to do and just allow for the money to be there to assist you obtaining the experience that you're longing for, you know, what the money will represent, what the money can help achieve, you know, the money can be there, but it's just, it's just a tool. It's like you want to build a house. Well, you need a saw, you know, you need the saw, you need the hammer. And that's what the money is. It's the saw and the hammer, but you want, you're thinking of the house. I want the new house, you know, I want what is, you know, that's, that's the how to look at it. I guess. Yeah, it's be, watch out, what are you thinking? Because um, more and more you think of that, like uh, we're talking about money, right? You are uh, focused, no matter how you want to put it, that's what your focus is, money. So you will likely be attached to money idea. If you focus on a mystical experience, right. The mystical experience will come or you may focus on on a specific relationship and then the feeling not the person but the feeling of your your needs why you need a specific relationship because again it's a magical magical um mystical right experience mm -hmm. and the expansion and discovery of a new you because to me falling in love or finding beauty in other people it's a reflection of um piece of myself so you continue to surprise yourself of the different aspect of you or sometimes that people who love you pointing out the beauty and the talent that you didn't even acknowledge so again the awareness and discovery of awesome you that's why i think people want to fall in love they don't know that <laughs> they're actually falling in love themselves and that's the that is the ask by universe 
you know, knowing yourself and loving more and more the layer. So a lot of times they're chasing, we chase external thing and the things that provide those external experience, but actually it's in you, just peeling off yourself. But it's not fun. It's more exciting to chase other things, <laughs> and which is a fine. It's it, as long as you know it. So those focus is always you, and the focus is always really you already have it, and and how you find it, how you put the label and tag on it, and and that is that is basically the whole things. So going back again, you know, what are your focus? Is of what you're going to be slave, so so be be sure that what do you attach your thought? Is it light one? Let's say you're gonna be in jail with this one. You're gonna be in the left with a bunch of money in an island of nothingness, or are you gonna be left to you another you in this nothingness? <laughs> and if you're happy with it, that 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 is it. That is what you want. That's why it's better to do this meditation. They take you, let's say you have already accomplished everything you desire, you have everything you need. And then he puts you on a void. And just a thought. That's all we need to start with, just a thought. Mm -hmm. And your thought shouldn't be money. <laughs> right. Because that's not the thought. No. Yeah. Money, money does and it in and of itself represent lack mm. and have nots i mean that that's really you know money in and of itself the dollar you know that's the money curse you know so to just focus on wanting money um will not bring about that love and peace and freedom that we're talking about oh it's i don't think my i don't see money that way I see money is um, the biggest source of energy in a 3D. Mm -hmm. And it's a tool in a, um, some options and, and uh, amplifier. So if you're a nice person, you have a lot of money, you become even more nicer because you could express in a grand way. Mm -hmm. If you're the person of the sadness, the amplified more sadness spread more in the world. <laughs> yeah, money is amplifier. It, it's it's you know it's a tool and um, it's a long way to find a spirituality because the money could uh, uh, give you a lot more illusion, entertain. Yeah, but like that's kind of what I was talking about. You know, the money like as it's represented on television, say. Uh huh. You know, it's represented as it becomes. It is before happiness. It is before achievement it is you know you it is money is what you want first then you can have the nice things or the nice places or the nice experiences you know so that's the trap that yeah. the masses were, were brought into that's that's the message that's sent to us through newspapers the media television you know and so that's like you say you're you're beyond that from from your approach of it and that's where we all need to get to right that money is just simply a tool it represents human energy and so to look at it that way then it's just um like says it's the hammer to pound in the nail it's it's not the um gateway to anything everything already is and it's just there to assist yeah. Mm, this is a pretty good discussion. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's already out of class. That was, must be really good. We needed to talk about that. Um, oh, I just hope that you've been, you know, whoever listens to this, that there'll be, I more than hope, I know that it will help somebody. Yeah. Let's, um, are you ready to listen to explanation? Yep. Okay, let's see, let's run these things. Introduction, turning into new potential by, do you remember that this author? Dr. Joe Dispenza. Thank you. I'd like to welcome you into the practice of this new meditation called Tuning Into New Potentials. 
This has become a very popular meditation, and I wanted to take a few minutes to explain why we do this and demystify the process so that you have more abilities when you practice your meditation. All potentials that exist in the quantum field exist in the present moment, and all potentials that exist in the quantum field exist as potentials electromagnetically. Our job then is to change our energy to match those potentials that already exist in the quantum field. So there's a potential for you to be healthy, there's a potential for you to be wealthy, there's a potential for you to have a mystical experience. They all exist in the present moment. And so thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body. And how you think and how you feel creates a state of being. We also know that thoughts are electric and feelings are magnetic. And when you change how you think and how you feel, you broadcast the whole new electromagnetic signature. So then if you can move out of some of those limited emotions that have to do with stress, anger or aggression, sadness or pain or unworthiness or insecurity, guilt or shame, fear or anxiety, you're changing your emotional state means you're changing your energy. So if the state of being called abundance exists as a potential in the quantum field already there, then you have to begin to change your state of being to match what abundance And if you can combine a clear intention with an elevated emotion, you are moving into a new state of being. So in the meditation, I'll ask you to move into two states of being. I recommend in one state of being, you choose something that you really like to create in your life, something that has some meaning to you. In the second one that you should tune into, we always recommend something that you'd like to play with as an experiment, maybe a mystical experience, maybe an out-of-body experience, maybe a greater understanding about time, or maybe if you don't think that you dream, maybe it's time to tune into the potential that you do dream. But something that you don't have too much energy on, because that one typically manifests and unfolds first. So when your energy matches that energy that exists in the quantum field, then you are drawing that experience to you. 